live at DJ Expo 2021 at the JMAZ lighting booth. I've been here all week and I finally have an opportunity to get some quiet here around me. You can hear I lost my voice. It's been a crazy week so far, but I have to show you the brand new Versa Flex Bar from JMAZ Lighting and talk about a little bit how excited I am about it. And we're gonna bring in Victor from JMAZ here in just a minute to talk more detail and deeper surface level stuff than what I'm gonna go through. But what are we looking at? We're looking at an FX Bar 5050, which is the number one selling light for JMAZ other than their battery powered moving heads. Incredible light, we're gonna see it on in just a few moments, but you have SMD diodes built in here, you have color wash, LEDs, you have um, pixel mappable SMD color and white. So you have so much going on here just on the FX Bar 5050. Then what you're buying initially is the bar and the bar is the FX bar 5050 and you have two moving heads here that are 25 watt okay super punchy something that is not going to get lost in a larger room this is a legitimate moving head on here it looks small but this thing packs a punch so that's what comes with it initially <clears throat> the cool thing about this light is the versa the versatility of it and what makes it versatile these are optional accessories here also, the stand does not come with it, which is an optional accessory. I know many people that will use this will want to put it on a flat base style stand. So the tripod was something they didn't feel they wanted to put in because of the way the industry is moving. If you want to get a tripod, you can get that. But they spent the money and put it in the light instead of spending it on the tripod that you may or may not need. So I'm excited to bring Victor in. I want to talk a little bit more about the complexities and the details of this light. but. Um, understand that I'm someone that's pretty difficult to impress. Um, I've been doing this for quite a long time and when I saw this thing on for the first time I was just like whoa they knocked that out of the park and let's bring in Victor now we'll talk a little bit more about it okay all right my man Victor from JMAZ what's up my man Justin thank you so much for stopping by man. hey my pleasure I've been so happy to work with you guys right. at the show and let me just say something about this guy right here. Passionate about what I do. This guy is comfortable with Santa Claus with me, and that's why we get along, and that's why I really have connected with this brand and why I want to show you guys how great their stuff is. So Versa Flex Bar, we just talked about kind of the surface level stuff. Right. I want to bring you in because, I mean, you're like the man behind a lot of this stuff. So let's talk a little bit about the options because we talked about the FX bar 5050. Right. We talked about the 25 watt moving heads. Correct. But I don't know as much about these as you do. I got right. the Tron 7, I got the, the, the 320, I got the 220. Yeah, got it. Got so it. let's go through Absolutely. that and talk about the different options that you can go through because it starts off at an 899 price point a la carte for the bar, but you can turn it on and add to it and Correct. get a more mega package. Yes, you know? absolutely. So let's go through that a little bit. Yeah, I'm glad you touched on, uh, on options because one of the things that we wanted to do is we wanted to make the options endless. We wanted to make it so flexible that, you know, you could basically customize this thing to whatever the user end wants it to look like, whatever the consumer wants it to look like. 
And what we wanted to do was we wanted to make sure that people got the RGB, we wanted to make sure that people got the cool whites, the warm whites, the colors of a part light, but not just a color that lights up, that it lights up with style, where you could make this thing into a scene if you ever had a St. Patrick's Day event and you wanted to make this thing look a green wash with white beams. We wanted to make sure that that's possible. Same thing if somebody had a Valentine's Day event, all red with, you know, ac with cool white accents, or somebody at a quinceañera or a wedding. They wanted the warm white, cool white for, for photos to illuminate the, you know, his and hers dance, or right. my father and daughter dance, right? So These are all applications that DJs and performers are going through Correct. on a weekend to weekend basis. So to, to hear you say that you've thought of that and you've designed something to kind of tackle that, pretty cool. Exactly. So a lot of the questions that people might have, I think, is, you know, do the movers have a color wheel? Yes, they do. Do the movers have gobos? Yes, it does. And so... Those are those gobos replaceable? They're not. Okay. Uh, but it does have built-in gobos and, you know, the color wheel as well. Um, every pair or every part light that we've made as an optional add-on to the VersaFlex bar, they come in pairs. So when you're buying them or when you see them available for sale, know that it'll be a pair. So it's not one. You're getting both for that price. Now let me ask you a quick question about these because I did notice they have a special connection in the back. Yes. So when you plug these in, if you decide to make the purchase and go to the mega package, right? Yeah. Will they then coordinate to the bar and kind of work in sync with what else is going on? I'm glad you asked that, and that's actually a really good question because that's something I would want to know if I'm a mobile DJ and I'm looking for that. So we thought about those things. So uh, there is a special connection, like you mentioned, and that's because every single light has its own power supply. There is not one power supply for the entire setup. Every light has its own power supply, so if you look, there is as a, a as opposed to the bar powering exactly, all the lights exactly so the power con you see here oh wow is a, it power con power con it's a power in and then so that then goes to others uh, a network of power supplies that are designed to independently recognize when you've plugged in any given light real quick going back to power con i'm stuck on power con because i love it What's the one thing you can't do with power con <laughs> you can't accidentally <laughs> unplug it and guess how easy it is to plug in and turn in yeah, just exactly. one click exactly it's a pro level feature Correct. that you guys put into Absolutely. this light Absolutely. and i love Absolutely. it and that's really an all i've noticed on a lot most most shame at all the moving heads it's all pro level stuff stuff that you would see in higher end fixtures right i mean you know it's a, it's a simple um i don't want to say solution but it's a it's a simple feature that's not that hard to add and if it's gonna make the product that much better, yeah. then why not include it in there? Ultimately, that's what it comes down and, to. And I love that thought process from J-Maz, exactly. you know what I mean? So and, get back to the power supplies, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, absolutely, so, so what happens is you would go into the menu option and you're gonna tell the bar which pair of lights you've plugged in. So you're gonna assign the top, bar, the top bars to its menu option. So to say unit one, it'll be both tops. Unit two, it'll be both bottoms. And then you get into that menu option and you'll tell it, oh, I have the Tron 7s, or I'm using the Dual 324s, or the Tri 220s. And that's how the bar knows how to control or what kind of scenes to then give you access to when it comes to creating your own scenes with this particular bar. Wow, thinking for you, I love it. Yeah, absolutely. All you gotta do is tell it, hey, because you know there's it's not just those four options right now. There's going to be more options in the future. Wow. So ultimately... I believe know, that, Vic. You're probably thinking ahead already. I know I'm you. I'm already thinking of version three and four, you know? <laughs> I mean, you know, it's, that's, just, that's just how it goes. I love it. So ultimately, you know, we went deep into this. We wanted to be not just another light in the market. We wanted to be a functional light that people, people do use, that people could, could think of, you know, getting excited about taking it to their next gig because they just can't wait to use it. They just can't wait to show what they have. Yeah. The, I mean, I didn't see this until Monday night before I was even in here. I, I was able to see a little video and I, I literally was just like, not, I was blown away because I, I was not expecting it. So um, what else can we talk about? Anything else on the back that you want to discuss? And one thing just to say, 
This thing is super robust. I mean, I. Yeah, once you see it. I mean, it, it's 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 not a t anywhere near it. This is a professional right. bar. This is a professional so, system like this. So the this. bar itself, it's about 46 pounds. And if you see it and you compare it next to the FX bar 5050, which is where the idea came from, it's deeper, it's thicker than, than the FX bar 5050. Um, one thing I also want to point out when it comes to uh, controls, uh, unless you have anything else for me, but I wanted to get in the control. Oh, please. Components. Obviously, it has a sound active mode. I was going to ask you about that. Yeah, it has a sound active mode. It has DMX control. Okay, um, so if you just want to turn it on, let it do its thing, you can do that. Absolutely. Either to the beat or auto? To the beat or auto, Okay, yes. and then Built if you want to control it with sound switch, a DMS controller, exactly. anything like that, you can also do that. Correct, it's got okay. DMX in, DMX out. Three More versatility. Down. Exactly, and so, but ultimately, besides that, you know, what else can this thing do? Because I understand that for a lot of DJs, uh, lighting, it's not that it's an issue, it's just that sometimes, you know, these venues only give you an hour to set up, or maybe two hours to set up. And the truth is, a lot of people that will use something like this, they're, they're solo operators. They're running the gigs by themselves. Right, yeah. right. You and know? so, because we understand that, we wanted to make sure that we gave you something where you could just show up. I, you know, I plugged it in. I went ahead and turned it on. I paired the remote to it. Oh, so and, this, this comes with a remote too, and right? And I'm ready to go. <laughs> you see what I mean? Oh, so now we're turning it on. Now you want to flex, huh? <laughs> now you want to flex. Right? And so I don't want, you know, ultimately, we don't want lighting to be another one of the reasons why you're dreading using this light because it takes so much to set up. Because by, by the way, all of you out there that are afraid of DMX, it's not that scary, I promise you. Right. We'll talk about that another time. But, but, but there's still a learning curve, but and it still takes time. I will say, for me, if you are a solo operator and you are DJing and understand that lighting is important, yes. to have this remote, for me, I use lighting that I have a remote. I use some other products. And when I'm DJing, I literally will keep this in my hand. Right. And I will, with the song, because it's in my, I will be able to change things. So what yes. am I able to do with this remote? So I'm glad you asked too, because the remote control that is going to be included in this package it's going to have so many different options for you. You're going to have a button that says bar. You're going to have a button that says movers. You're going to have a button that says Tron 7, Try 220. And what that's going to do for you, it's going to give you the flexibility to press a button and then say, and then go through different scenes that are built in to just the movers, different scenes that are built into just the bar. So you could then choose how you want your VersaFlex bar to look. Off of the remote? Off of the remote. Wow. It's gonna be very intuitive, very user-friendly. And this is an, an infrared or an RF remote? It's an RF remote. So as long as you're within 30 feet of range. Wow, so you don't even need line of sight, really? Nothing. I mean, you'll, it'll be next to you as you're DJing, and you go, oh, father-daughter dance, boom. If anyone doesn't know what I just said, there's radio frequency and there's infrared remote control. An infrared remote control, you have to go like that. Literally, sometimes have to be that close. Right. Or you, you don't get it. A lot of times, they put the sensor on the wrong side. Exactly. I've seen that happen before, and you can't even access it. So this, I put it in my pocket, I put it over here, and it's still going to work, right? Exactly. So that's a radio frequency. It doesn't really get blocked by things the way you need line of sight and you need infrared with Correct. the way the IR, IR remotes work. You don't have work. to aim at it. You can just press the button. And another thing I like about this is that you can put this in front of you, up high, facing the crowd, maybe a couple of bars, you flip them around so you can illuminate yourself and, you know, or have it all behind you facing forward. So I, I want to say that I love the fact that you chose to not include the stand. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. And, and made it an optional accessory because what that, as I said earlier, allowed you to do was put the money in the light. Exactly. and let the customer choose if they want the stand. Many people have stands like this. And as I might have said earlier, the, the move right now you're seeing is a lot of these flat base stands. So one thing that you're gonna, and let's turn this thing on really quick. Cause I think uh, we got sound coming out, running out of time here, but this is on full blast mode right now, right? right? This is a show mode. We had a prototype of this. So Correct. what you're seeing right now is like full intensity, full on, but I'm gonna bend over here a little bit. No, not like that. Um, <laughs> and give you guys just a little sample. We're gonna see more in the video as far as intro and outros, but 
This thing is intense, and one thing that I will say, and I have gotten feedback throughout the show, there's nothing here that I would ever want to turn off. I would maybe right. want to not make it as bright. Right, exactly, <laughs> and that's where we but stood. There's nothing here that's a throwaway. There's no exactly. item that's going to get the photographers upset. Right. There's, there's just functional stuff that's modern and it has legs. Exactly. So uh, I'm glad you touched on mountability, right? If you look at it, if you don't use the bottom part lights, there's rubber pads on it so you could set it on a stand. I didn't even notice that. You can set it flat on a table in front of you and all you have to have is those two on top. You can put it on a vertical stand like this or we're gonna have a JMS exclusive truss bracket that is gonna mount either on the bottom of the, of the bar or on the top of the bar so that you can hang it from a truss off of a single clamp. Wow. Right? And so again, you can make it so that the bars, the movers are on the top by having the the, 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 this particular mount on the bottom, or you can flip it around so that the movers are on the bottom with this uh, particular mount here mounted on the other side. So you have options. There's a flex. Absolutely. We're flexing, it's aren't up we? to its name, and we wanted to make sure that it does that. Yeah. Well, I have been thoroughly impressed. Every time I've met with you, I am even more thoroughly impressed after this meeting. and. What I have seen at this show, we're going to go through some more stuff at another time, but the VersaFlex bar um, from JMAS Lighting, you have to check this thing out. We're going to be putting it up on djvenkguru.com. You're going to see blog with, uh, and more details about it on djvenkguru.com, so definitely check it out, or at jmaslighting.com. Um, anything else you want to leave us with, Victor? Any questions or concerns? Um, any input you guys want to give us, we're here to listen and we will consider it and so just so that you guys know we're here to bring product innovate product that's our promise to everybody is to bring innovative and functional products into the market yeah and it's clear as day that jmaz is doing something different um, last thing i want to just end with and then we'll let everybody go here one thing i also notice when i look at these colors they seem to be unique to me they seem to be different and i i said to you the other day i go do you guys do something with the colors because everyone says the same thing. It's something different. Did you do something with the macro, the mixing? Yeah. Tell well, me what you said. There's a little bit of science behind it. You know, I mean, we look at... And this isn't just the... This, this is every JMAS. Yeah, right? absolutely. I mean, you, you look at a Starburst bar that has the colorful wrappers, and then you look at a Jolly Rancher bag. There's a completely different... There's blues in there, but the Jolly Rancher has a different type of blue. Yeah. It's like electric. Yeah, there's like a little more vibrant to it. There's, it just vibrates at a different frequency into your eyes. Yeah. And so that's kind of where we stand. If we're going to do a red, let's make a better red, a more vibrant red. Yeah. Let's add a little more of a, you know, like a, like a sprinkle, like like when a, when a car painter adds a little bit of a sparkle to the paint, right? Yeah. It's not just a one layer, it's a three stage, it's a four stage paint job. And so that's kind of where we stand the colors that we want to bring out. And I hear it. I've heard it because I've been here the last couple of days and everyone says the same thing. What's different? Why why does it look so cool? What what is it? And yeah. That's it. And exactly. I, I just I, I knew it and I said, what do you guys do? <laughs> and, 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 and Vic goes, I do know that. Well this is Yeah, because honestly Justin you're the second person that that really came up and asked that. Yeah. Because earlier that day someone else had said the same thing. Yeah. And I'm like they're starting to notice. There's a reason why it's different. It's because they made it different. Right. What else are these guys going to come up with next is what I want to know. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's thinking outside the box. But also you got a tough, uh, a tough act to follow after this guy. Absolutely. All right, well, Vic, listen, man. I really appreciate your time. You. appreciate you sharing with our DJ Guru fam everything about the VersaBar Flex here from JMAS Lighting. Um, we're expecting this to be a big hit and are very excited to really start to get this out there into the marketplace. So. Great job by you guys. Thanks again for your time. DJ Guru fan, we really appreciate you watching. Say hi to Victor. Thank you guys. He's always available to help you guys out at JMS. Uh, I'm here to help you guys out with anything. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. Vic, my man. Thank you, Justin. Thank you so Good much. All right, brother. See you.